So some of the ascension symptoms that we can expect for the week, I know last week was all about the digestive system and having cold fits. And, you know, that was really dependent because we were on a journey with the moon. But this week, especially earlier on in the week, because we're still kind of in that full moon energy window, we can expect a lot of insomnia, a lot of sleep disruptions, a lot of really wild dreams. I know myself, my dreams have been very cryptic, but very deep and very revealing for some of the healing work that I'm currently in. And I know my clients have kind of reported uh, the same kind of dream patterns. You know, some are really wild, some you don't think you can make any sense of. And then you know, you get to talking about it and you can start seeing the really huge bits of symbolism in these really wild dreams. So we can definitely expect, especially because we're still in Pisces season here, the dreamer, um, and especially very connected to the intuition, to our soul self, we can expect dream states to not only continue to be disrupted, but for dream states to be very wild as well. We can also still experience a little bit of digestive issues because of the moon as well. It's not going to be as intense as last week, but because the moon is kind of going through her cycle, and again, we have a lot of information and a lot of different situations arising for us right before the last quarter moon, we do still have a hard time chewing, processing, digesting the new information that is being revealed to us. Again, it's not going to be as intense as last week, but we still do have to watch out for digestive disruptions. We're going to have a lot of crown and third eye pressure this week. And a lot of that, first of all, we are in Pisces season. This is hypersensitivity. This is trying to reconnect with our soul, with our spirit, with, with divine source. We are visionaries. We are creative. We are dreamers in this state. And we are currently trying to be downloaded by the universe, by the cosmos with new codes for us to create new dreams and new visions. We are connecting the dots in a lot of ways here this week. Again, with the new information coming forward for us to kind of rearrange a couple of our, um, what we thought were solid plans, we're gonna have to re-edit that. And so we're processing subtle energies, we're processing information in our lower mental plane, but a lot of it is opening up our intuition and having a renovation, if you will, in our spiritual bodies. So we are going to feel a lot of head pressure, a lot of crown pressure, a lot of third eye pressure, because we're opening our eyes, we're opening our perspectives to a new layer of subtle energy that, of course, our physical realms are wrapped in. Uh, a helpful hint, uh, you know, I, I always try to find like little shortcuts to be able to kind of tame the ascension symptoms. And especially when I'm having a lot of head pressure, new visions coming in, new voices trying to take over to lead us on new intuitive paths of healing for both myself and my clients. Sometimes the head pressure is too much. And so one of the helpful hints that I've been sharing with my clients, especially over the past two weeks where we've been seeing this increase in pressure in receiving messages from the cosmos and in our physical headspace is veiling. And veiling might not be a term that you're familiar with, but basically it is, you know, putting a, a cap on your crown, putting a hat on, putting a hood up, putting a headscarf on to kind of, you know, insulate the amount of energy coming in and of course the amount of energy coming out. So if you're feeling a high palpitation in that headspace, put a hat on or put your hood up or put a scarf around your head and see if you can see the noticeable difference um, of the energy, of the pressure, of the ache, of the pounding in the head. I know it's been doing wonders for me and my clients, so I definitely would want to extend that tip to you as well. Um, we do have to watch out for some changes in our appetite. Now, what's interesting is, is that because we're in Pisces season, we're like free floating in the waters, in the psyche, in the heart space, right? We are all over the place. Now, as you know, the ocean can be very calm and then it can be choppy and very stormy at the drop of a hat. 
our appetite is fluctuating because our light bodies are fluctuating as well. Normally, when we have a day of high light codes or high downloads coming in, and we can blame Uranus for that anytime that Uranus comes up in these weekly energy forecasts, we can expect a high vibrational energy to come into our physical bodies from the cosmos. But when the energy is high and our light bodies are being activated, our physical bodies have a tendency to want to eat more, especially eat heavier food, junk food, earthy food, grounding us, making us heavy, making us very present in the physical body, which although might feel good at the moment, kind of defeats the purpose because the light codes that we're being downloaded with is trying to show us how to keep our physical body in alignment with our light body. And it's exactly as it sounds. We want to keep our body light. We don't want to weigh ourselves down. So we have this interesting fluctuation, this wave, if you will, of intensity when it comes to our appetite and to our dietary changes here this week. You might go a day where you're not hungry at all, where you might want to keep it light, eating foods of the earth like salads and soups or whatever the case may be. And then all of a sudden we get a high energy day, a high vibrational day. And then you dive into the junk food and you just stuff your face and you probably feel awful for it afterwards. But it is a natural response to trying to keep the physical body grounded. So you definitely want to watch out for the appetite fluctuations. And again, we are still going to have a lot of heart chakra activations this week as well, especially around the last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Uh, again, we are in Pisces season. There's a lot of healing to be done. Venus is very much on the calendar here this week, and she is very focused on love. And so many of us have a lot of healing to do in our heart chakras from past pain, past trauma, past experiences that are either blocking us from truly aligning with with the kind of people that we need to be in relationships with, or it is blocking us from actually connecting on an intimate level to the existing relationships in our lives. So we're definitely going to feel some heart palpitations, some energy shift in that heart chakra. And you know what? It is absolutely wanted. It is absolutely necessary. May I remind you, we are wrapping up an astrological calendar. We are ending cycles. We are preparing for a brand new calendar, for a brand new energy, for life to happen once again, once Aries season hits. Another reason why I highly recommend listening to March's energy forecast. It really does lay out the land on what we can expect for this brand new month, especially seeing as we're almost ready to close the door on this last chapter and we are super excited already feeling the energy building to opening the door to a brand new cycle a brand new chapter where life gets started once again so that is your energy forecast for sunday february 28th to saturday march 6th I hope you have a beautiful first week in March. I hope you set the tone for the next month that we are about to dive into. We have some beautiful changes taking place this month and the energy will definitely pick up, be more excitable and definitely get a whole lot more activated mid month when we jump into Aries season. Until then, I will continue to send you all of the love and all of the light to gracefully float through the next week's energy with as much open mindedness and open heartedness as you can possibly have because we are ending cycles and we're preparing to open our hearts once again. I hope you have a beautiful week. We'll talk to you soon.